I can imagine that getting it done faster really matters, right? I mean, that's the, that's the, the lovely part about Instagram or your TikTok reels is that you can make, uh, you know, I, I had literally have my setup right here for, for, you know, making video on my iPhone <laughs> and yeah. I love it because it's fast. And, and so how does all of that play into this as well? So there's obviously less cost, but if you need to be keeping people's attention quickly in this uh, day and age, I'm sure that's a big driver of this as well, right? The speed is, uh, it's so important. Um, and speed really means automation. And, mm -hmm. uh, and there are so many mundane tasks that we now have to automate. Um, take for example, uh, um, uh, transcoding, right? Most people don't even know what, where to start. If I say transcoding, you know, what's a codec? Why does anybody need to know what a codec is? Well, in, <laughs> I'll just explain very quickly. Every camera comes with a codec, which is basically a decoder, which allows you to see the video. Remember in those bad old days when we had, we had, uh, we put a, a, a video on our computer and it come up in a little tiny square and everyone was trying to figure out why is it just in that little tiny square? Or maybe it doesn't show up at all. And that's all got to do with the codec, with compression, with, with how it's managed uh, on, onto your computer. It could be also the browser now because we're, we're streaming content over browsers. And, and each one of these things, they, they, don't, they don't all uh, manage all the different codecs. So uh, sometimes you, you just can't see the content. Uh, sometimes, you know, a lot of the times you can, and then you wonder, well, why can't, why can't I see that one? And I can't see that one. Um, so there's trying to standardize that is, is really the first big challenge before you can do any automating, right? So we have to be able to say, okay, we're, we're going to take all the different cameras and all the different codecs and all the different formats, and we're going to standardize it so that we can see them, uh, in, in a, in a, in a certain form. Well, okay. So, so once you've got that figured out, and by the way, no one's done that. So that's, that's just not possible yet. Um, but once, once you've done that, well, you can do a lot of them. We can do a lot of them at the moment, but imagine a CCTV camera is going to be different from a broadcast camera, yeah. right? It's going to be different from a camera that's on your car, which is, you know, looking at the, looking at the, the, the back at the road and, and, and trying to sensor, you know, sense whether you're, you're going to hit a pole or not. So the, the, the cameras, the, the content, the quality of the content, all that is really important uh, in terms of trying to create some sort of standardization, which is, I want to be able to see it. Okay, we get that. What do you want to be able to see it on? Do you want to see it on a, on a, on your, um, on your laptop, on your phone? Do you want to see it uh, in a cinema? Do you want to see it on the TV? I mean, there are all these different types of screens as well. So, so when you look at the complexity and I often, I often think that, you know, maybe we've just made it way too complex. Why is it, why does it have to be so, so difficult? I mean, even Android's different from, from Apple mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, how you stream content. So why does it have to be uh, so complex all the time? Well, people want to, you know, they want to be proprietary around what they own in terms of their technologies. Um, but it, I, I think we've overcomplicated things in the past.